in in bigger, not for the balcony basically, but for any event soiree we live in, bigger balc. Um, I finally got a splitter so we can start doing dual TVs. Like Genesis style. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited to have that. That's going to be happening Sunday. For those of you going to uh, We Live In, please do. For the love of God, if there's any event you should be supporting right now, it's, it's We Live In. Yeah, but those in SoCal just want to find a nice turn on a Sunday, especially if you're in the Pomona area. Yeah, it's and be at be Cal Poly. yeah, because there was a SSS in NorCal last weekend, we actually have the venue all to ourselves. And I talked to Lucky. He said he's gonna try to come. Nice. Talk, talk to Weston. Said he's gonna. He's considering coming. He's of course Weston. So who we have no idea. What yeah, he's who gonna knows be doing. what's going on? No, I think no one <laughs> will ever know what goes in the mind of G2 West Balls. <laughs> yeah, but uh, hopefully we get to see some melee talent out there. Even though the melee bracket isn't happening. Mm -mm. But anyway, we're going into another round of doubles here. He had a fantastic run at Blood for Blood. Yeah, that, and he actually did really well at the last we live in. Uh, he brought out the DK for the first time and was like just outside of top eight at like a 50 something man bracket. So, you know, I would love to see him keep working on that. We'll see if it happens though. But yeah, no, Lucky sounded pretty good about trying to come out. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. We live in is going to be pretty hype on Sunday, and I really hope people do their best to come out for it. <laughs> yeah, we're going into another game of doubles here. This time we're having Venom and Teals versus the other person, or other team, in our three-man doubles bracket. Oh, it's only three, three teams? Yeah, I don't, you know, again, I don't know where everyone's at today, but they are not here. <laughs> I think it's sad. just a, a weird mix of midterms, no rides, and we live in kind of getting everybody down. I'm still digging the main reason because it's just midterms. I would like some love people in this area or in LA are in college and yeah. they're just we're all stressing man I'm stressing Alex is stressing we nerds we be stressing but I do think this will be a good chance hopefully I'm gonna talk to Alex and see if we can try to make like best of fives or some sort of like pools thing happen because I'd love for this to be a day where people can like really try to like get practice this and uh, Sunday with we live in hopefully we can get people ready to go Freshened up because we have a lot of talent going to Olympus. It'd be cool if, if we kind of avenged our big Balk standings Ooh. where we were like on our own turf and like nobody made top three. Oh gosh. Mm -mm. But yeah, Sosa is definitely going to be our main man in terms of trying to get us a good, good victory at Olympus. He's definitely been the top dog in SoCal as of late. With this pit. <laughs> This pit that's been rocking SoCal. But right now, actually, uh, Red Team's doing really well with Teal's oh my stock he's tanking he's like a god. Still, still has living. it at 175. My goodness. And nope, 185, you have to die right there. There's no way. <laughs> the way you think about it, we could have like a, um, this could be like a mini Shark Tank. Because there's a lot of talent here, and since there's only 12, 10 to 12 Yeah, here, people. I'm going to check the bracket again. But again, there's, yeah, we might end up having, like, roughly 20, depending on how many people show up in the last 30. But currently, we have... Where are we at right here? So many brackets. We have 16 right now. So, yeah, we'll probably have about 20 people in the brackets this week. Smaller, but still stacked. I'm really excited to see how uh, things go means a better chance for a lot of PR people to fight each other. Mm, fight people they might not usually fight. Oh, and Dumpshine is going for the not swallow all, side, the but cheese. didn't get it. I think he was nervous about hitting Sosa. Oh, he has his boy. But that's the thing about, like, DDD, is if you swallow your own homie, like, he you can just him spin him out. And, like, with Bowser, like, the star is bigger than, like, it, like the the... The hitbox of DDD spitting a character out changes with like the size of the character. So like if you do that with uh, Bowser, it's like better. Or maybe that was Kirby. I don't remember. But I know there was a uh, like either Kirby or DDD. Like the size of the character can mean a better projectile upon spitting at them out. Speaking of Sosa, dude, he, Blank he got his wisdom teeth taken out. That sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like super afraid that I have to do that soon. <laughs> Thankfully, I had my um, dental problems taken care of in middle school. And oh, really? Braces and all. <laughs> Thank gosh. Oh, yeah. But green team's still clutching it out. I don't know what it is about red team. They seem to start off really strong, and then by the end, they always fall fall apart, which is unfortunate. But maybe we'll see if they can get it together for this uh, well, last like, and final game here. If you're in a team of basketballers, it's probably subjective. 
this objective to like start off really good because you have such like a strong neutral, but as it goes on, you don't don't have like an endurance capability for dubs. I right, right now because um, I'm trying to also have like a pretty good um, team comp overall. And Falco Man I may seem like it's a very very good one, a very good team comp, but. Once they're know. off stage, it's just not yeah. pretty. I mean, Teals was doing a really right good here. job stock at the beginning. Oh. Yeah, that was a flood red guard by Sosa there. But, uh, oh, there goes DDD, though. But that's the thing is I feel like Meta Knight's pretty good at taking care of DDD, even though, because, like, with DDD, he's really good at living forever in doubles because, like, it's already pretty hard to edgeguard DDD. People are even less coordinated about it. And like Falco is definitely gonna have a hard time getting it done, but I think Meta Knight actually can handle getting DDD not to live to such ridiculous percents, because his edge guarding on DDD is so strong. Oh, is he gonna kill Sosa? DDD no. is Both one big bad birdie. I love him. <laughs> I love that he throws his friends. That's cool. His minions. And they just like jump off the stage when they're just like when they're ready to go. <laughs> They quit life. It's really fun to see Manny, or I should say Dumb Shiny especially, has a really fun time using the minions as projectiles, and I always like to see what he tries to do between, like, he doesn't even always just throw them at the opponent. Obviously, you, you can use them as a movement option. Most DDDs do that, but he also, like, will weirdly place them around him. I don't know. It's very interesting. I'm, I really think Dumb Shiny is, like, has a lot of potential to be an up and comer. Oh, that double kill. In SoCo. I think, like, with this new PR season, players to look out for in SoCo are definitely Quandivorous, who we should be seeing at We Live In on Sunday. Oh, He's a Luigi fine. player. Uh, Dumb Shiny, obviously on screen right now, is a DDD player. Uh, Maddox, who is pretty busy as of late, but is a very solid uh, Wario Game & Watch player. It was all about the cheese. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Game and Wario, dude. I'm telling you, the Game and Wario will like live on. <laughs> will live on. It will live on. Uh, he definitely has no. Oh, DG Wan, of course, is another player. Ooh, DG Wan, yes. Yeah, yes, he yes. did really well last season, and then uh, he had wins like Nation. I feel like he had somebody else he beat that was like really surprising. I don't know that. I feel he like DJ. He deals. Oh yeah, it's true. Uh, but yeah, I see DJ Wan is not necessarily like. Like, the other three players have the potential to get to maybe, like, the bottom of the PR. I think DJ Wan has, like, one more season, and then he'll have the potential to, like, maybe get on the PR. We'll see how he does and if he can keep uh, leveling up. But, yeah, I feel like a lot of players here in SoCal, the, the training grounds are real. And right now it's, it's looking like even. we'll see if Red Team will clutch it out for once or if they're going to have another game thrown to the wayside. Uh, Percent-wise, everyone's very even, but at the same time, you have someone like DDD who's going to be living a lot longer. They haven't really been doing the best job of edge guarding uh, Sosa, but Sosa is at the highest percent right now. If they can get rid of Pit, it'd make it a lot easier to handle DDD because you can lock him down with the lasers, and then Meta Knight can kind of just go in and get that last hit that they need, or the last Gord couple hits. Ooh, that Gordo. 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 Oh, no, don't hit your friends. Yeah, I gotta say, Red Team is having a hard time also with the... Uh, I think they keep hitting each other. They're not very respectful of each other's space. And I think that might just be coming from Venom's, like, lack of Falco, like, doubles practice. He's not as in tune with his, like, spacing. Ooh, there goes DDD. That's actually really good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, he missed Mickey. the peep. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. Oh, okay. Oh. It's pretty surprising. Oh, he gets the Oh, they got game. one. They got one. That's so crazy. That's actually the first game Red Team's won today. <laughs> oh, no. Don't say that. Let's go. Uh, I don't know. Someone took the water. <laughs> we are now out of water it's here in the balcony. Oh, my gosh. He's going Wario. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I guess they just really want to solidify getting the money today. But yeah, heading back to Balk Stadium for game three. Currently 1-1. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, for uh, We Live In, 
We also have a special event at Dojo's. Oh, yeah. Wanna... I guess we'll talk about that. Um, oh, no. Hold on. This is not looking good for Red Team. <laughs> we, I... like, looked away for a second, and already they are down two whole stocks as a team overall. But, yeah, uh, for Dojo's, for those going to uh, we, live we Live In on Sunday, we are doing crew battles uh, that consist of one PR player and then three non-PR PR players. Like and we're calling them Dojos. So they all have fun names. People are signing up for them right now. I think there's two forms. There's both a form for, like, if you're a PR player looking for Dojos or if you're a non-PR player looking to join a Dojo. Both of those are accessible on SoCal PM right now and San Diego PM. So, for example, let's say I create a Dojo. Oh, yeah, because you are PR. I am PR. Yeah. Are, are, do you have a Dojo yet? Are you I'm, working on it? I'm ha I have Do Humble Dojo, Two Jar, and I need one more. Oh, okay, yeah, because uh, I've been talking with Oates, and he basically has them all worked out. I think tomorrow he's going to be making them public for, like, who has open gaps yeah. and, like, organizing people. But I think we already had, like, seven Dojos, seven wow. crews. So it's going to be really exciting. I'm really I'm, – I'm excited. It's going to be fun to have a cool mix of uh, PR and non-PR people working together. Yeah. Mm -mm. And like this specifically, it's like really strategic because you pick out specific people who main specific characters that counter other players. And I <laughs> think that's like a very neat like way to look at it. And Deals does not get the edge guard on. Yes, yeah, it's not looking good for our red team here. They're not too far down because they are getting green team to the higher percent, but we'll see if they can clutch out those last hits. And Sosa does, in fact, have a waft right now, which means that somebody's about to lose their their stock earlier than they want to. Not that was really. a really interesting choice of waft. <laughs> Semi-sweet spot waft. Yeah, but he was, like, center stage, and Teals wasn't at that high of a percent. Oh, the reach oh. from the fourth Oh, my smash. God, Mickey, that's so scrubby. <laughs> Looking like that's Dr. like. That's like I play. I am. This is my first week of Smash. I'm just gonna fall into the hitbox kind of moment. <laughs> remember when it was the very first balcony and some nerd named Zesty got third? Dude, I do remember that. I, uh, the only reason I was looking at that was because uh, I was making like boos, or I should say ghosts, for like every person who's won a balcony. So like you can see, there's like a Machiavelli one where the boo looks like an Ivysaur. Yeah. And then yeah, there's like a Meta Knight one for Boring Man. An we IBK. have like Akira and Lucky have Fox, and uh, Falco one for West Balls. But yeah, no. So I was looking through them and I got all the way back to like the the first couple and I was like, what the fuck? Like I totally forgot. Like the first balcony, man. That was that was a time. Nino got second <laughs> and Machiavelli got first. Like. Oh, good times, good times. 60 plus balconies later. Yeah, no, for me to ever get third at a balcony is just like, fuck, man. <laughs> like, I'm a have facility. mercy. Dude, the other funny thing is, uh, yeah, Blink has won a balcony. Two jar. Actually, if you actually look at, like, the list of people who have won PM at the balcony singles, the list is not that long, considering we have done 68. There's been very much, like, periods where, like, one person has ruled. Like, IPK, Machiavelli, now we have Sosa. Lucky had a bit of a time where he ruled. But, um, yeah, no, it's really interesting to see, like, all of the people who have won, for the most part, are, like, really good, actually. I would yeah. say that on the lower side of things, like, Two Jar and uh, Tilt are really, like, the lowest of the low. Like, those are the only two people who are, like, not top or higher PR people who have won balconies. Yep. So it's very interesting. Uh -uh. Not sure who's happening next. We're probably doing the last game of doubles here, and then we're going to get into uh, singles for tonight. I think we have about 20 people entered. I think we are doing singles. <laughs> Z Zesty 4 PR. Oh my goodness. There's no way this is like the beginning of singles. What the fuck? Maybe they're doing some sort of round robin thing. 